everybody and welcome back to my channel. My name's Amber. If you don't know me, if you do know me, you know my name's Amber. Today I'm going to be showing you guys my box haul thing, whatever you want to call it. What is what what well Okay then there's no need to get there's no need to get crazy, okay? Today I'm going to be showing you guys a haul that I got from Nip and Fab. There was actually like a deal on the website for a few, like a week or something, and it's where you could get 221 pounds worth of stuff for just 38 pounds. You know, Amber being Amber, wanting to get them fat and deals. She obviously jumped on that shit really, 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 really quick and bought one, even if I didn't want half of the products. But, just before we start this video, I'm going to say I'm very pleased with this box. I am indeed. I have used a couple of the products already, but some of them I have not. I'm just here to show you what I actually got in the box and whether I think it's worth the money. So, if you want to know what that entails, then just keep on watching. So, the first thing I have here is these four Nip and Fab, like, hydrate masks. These on the site are worth £7.50 per one mask. So, we're already, like, 75% more than 75% paid for the price of the actual box just in these four masks. I haven't tried any yet, as you can tell, because I got four. As you guys may or may not know, I've just recently got into sheet masks and I really love them and I cannot wait to try one of these because I've actually seen people like rave about them and I can't wait to try it, so I'm glad I got them in this box because basically I got them for free if you want to include all the other shit I got. And I also like that they've not just given me makeup in this box as well. I like that they've incorporated some skincare into it because I've learned a quote recently from Kaylin Chase and it's on her Instagram bio and it is skincare first, makeup second and I couldn't agree more. My makeup goes on so much better now that I've been looking after my skin. The next thing is this bronzer. I love this bronzer, I honestly do. It is high in vitamin E and it also has glycolic acid in it so while you're wearing it, it gently exfoliates your skin. I don't know if that's good or not, but it sounds good so... I don't know, I'm just trying to be honest. So this on its own on the website is £18.95 which I think is a bit ridiculous for this small ass little thing but I've used it about five times now and you can't even see that I've used any really. I like this because the sunscreen I currently use gives me a white cast on my face and adding a few drops of this into the like mixture of moisturiser, sun cream and this stuff it really does like get rid of that white cast. Today I put sun cream on without this and the white cast was just ridiculous but I got makeup on now. This smells like fake tan like it, my friend Nicole she wears fake tan a lot and it smells exactly how she smells when she wears fake tan. If you get this in your eyes it fucking stings like a bitch. At first I thought it was my sun cream that stung. I actually got my sun cream in my eye today and it didn't sting that bad and I was like, wait a minute, so it's for you. It's you because I didn't use you today. I used my usual moisturizer. I used my usual suntan. I didn't use you, so it's you. Don't get it in your eyes, it stings. I like how it negates the effects of my sun cream, but honestly, I would not buy it for £18.95. I think that's extortionate for some little last drops. For the next two products are these beautiful things. These are colour correctors and personally I don't use colour correctors at the moment. I might try this green because I do have a bit of red spots around my nose area. These cost £8.95 each so mm, I would never like if I saw this in the in the street I don't know why I'd see this in, but if I saw this in the street I wouldn't be like I need you for nine quid because I don't need you for nine quid. I'm perfectly fine with just my foundation to be honest. I'm not really sure what this one's for it's like a it's like a I don't know, it's more of like a skin colour colour in my opinion. If any of you guys know what kind of colour this is supposed to correct, just comment down below and let me know because I love learning about what works for people and one day I do want to get into like doing makeup on other people so I kind of need to know this type of stuff and I am doing a course at the moment that should teach me this but I'm not sure if it will or maybe I should just learn a basic colour theory and I'll know for myself. Next in my box is this eyebrow pencil. Um, this eyebrow pencil is brown so it's not my colour and I can't use it so I'm probably going to give it to somebody as a present or some shit. Like. I had a look online and on online it was like one side is a spoolie and one side is the actual crayon and I think that's amazing because that means you don't have to take an extra spoolie out of you or anything. You just have to take this and you know your eyebrows are going to be done. So this is like travel safe, travel travel thumbs up. I don't know what the word is for this. <laughs> Travels thumbs up. And honestly, £6.95 for an eyebrow pencil is just very expensive to me. I don't know. I personally use 
eyeshadow or I use like eyeliner gel. But if it was in black, I would totally try this out because I've tried an eyebrow pencil before. I've never tried one like this one though with like the angled thing, piece of crayon. I don't even know what, I don't know. I just know that I don't use pencils, so it doesn't really appeal to me and neither does the color, so what can I do there? <laughs> product is another skincare product actually and it is glycolic fix liquid extreme wait wait, wait. Gly this is the guy glycolic this is the gly this is the glycolic I don't know how to say that word, so just bear, bear with me, alright? This is the Glycolic Fix Liquid Glow Extreme 6%. So I'm guessing it's 6% like uh intensity. I don't know if that's the right thing, but I'm pretty sure that's what it means. I've actually used this for the last two nights. I'm not sure if it's like amazing or anything, but feel like my skin's softer when I wake up, so that's a plus. Burns a little bit around my nose area, and I know that means that I probably shouldn't use it. I should probably use one with less percentage, but it's only around my nose area, so I might just stop using it around there. I don't know. <sighs> I even really know what this is for. Let's have a look. Retextures and resurfaces. Helps unclog pores and aids exfoliation. And then Alentoin to soothe and protect skin. But see, I have a pore that's like on my face around here. And after the, yesterday I was washing my face and I realized that it actually had no dirt in it whatsoever and it always fucking gets dirt in it. I've got a massive enlarged pore from when I was younger and I'm not gonna be able to saw it unless I go to a dermatologist. The price for this on the Nip and Fab website is actually £10. And I have been looking to try this in the past. I've seen it and I've been like, oh that looks good. I might try that one day, but I've never ever bought it because the next things I'm going to show you in this box are six of these little uh, weirdly shaped things that are questionable. They are blushes and hands highlights as far as I'm aware. I got six of them in total and these actually come on the website for £10.95 per one. So this is the money maker in the box. These alone are worth like £66, okay? I'm gonna actually try some of these out for you, that's why I've got a base on today with no, with no like over makeup. I want to try some. I'm going to try Watermelon here and um, Galaxy. When I got this, Galaxy was already open. Like, these ones have protective shields on them. The Watermelon doesn't because I've actually already recorded this video once and had to re-record it because my lighting was just looking... looking trash. Just looking trash. So I had to redo the whole video. But I am going to try these on for you again so that you guys can see how they work. I'm only going to try the highlighter on one side because you do get another highlighter in the box and I just want to see how that works on its own too. So, is the Galaxy one. I don't know if that's zoomed in or anything but whatever. What's it called? Oh, okay. <gasps> I don't know if you can see that but... I'm impressed already, like, that is beautiful. Oh my god, I've got a bit too much on my face. I've just looked at my face properly and it's just like, you can see it. I like this, it's really like, do it. I don't know if that's the right word. And next I'm gonna be trying Watermelon, which is a blush. It's a lovely, 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 like, oh, look at that colour. That'd be perfect as like lipstick or something. But I don't know if it'll work on the lips. I'm not even going to try it because I've got lipstick to review in a moment. So just put that like there. Okay. Oh my god. I don't know if you can see that, but it gives me like a a youthful look. Ooh, I know I'm only 22, but... Oh, who is she? I like this. I really do like this blush. I like it as well because you only have to do that. I find with the P. Louise and regular blushes, I always put far too much on. But this, you're in control the whole time. You're just like, yeah, need more blush, need some up there. Yeah. Oh my God. I'm, I'm a blushing bride. I'm a blushing bride. The thing is, is I got six of these. I'd never buy all six for 60 pounds. I would have bought the two that I've got for 20. Well, the two that I've already opened for 20. There's probably way better colours in here that I haven't had a look at. But I'll leave that for another video or another time. Okay, so as I mentioned just a second ago, I'm going to be using the other side for this other highlighter. This highlighter honestly says nothing to me. It says nothing but... I am boring. I hate my life. I would do better as an eyeshadow shimmer than an actual highlighter. Or if you're a person who likes natural highlighter, I'm probably a girl. But 
I'm not a person who wants natural highlighter, so you're not my girl. But I am gonna try you, I'm not gonna just give up on you straight away. I'm gonna give you a chance. And if you can't do it, then I don't know what to say to you, love. But... These top ones are my favourite. This one here looks exactly like my skin tone, which I like. It's like, it gives my skin tone a natural highlight, definitely. So this is the one I think I'm actually gonna try today. This is the moment of life. Okay, I can't see a fucking thing. I'm trying to like not bring my uh, mirror too far up just, just so you guys can see it going on. Okay, now I'm gonna look closer. Okay, this is great for this look, but if I had eye eyes and stuff on, no. This this these are natural highlighters. I probably only use that one in the corner too. So I might depot it and give the rest to my friend or something. Like, Cause I don't know. They're a bit too normal for me. I like that. Highlighter with like a purple glow, pink glow, orange glow. I don't care. I don't care. Any glow, it's not skin colour glow. I couldn't actually find this on the Nip and Fab website, so I'm guessing it's been discontinued or some shit. But the last price it was at was £3.50. I found that in a group that I'm in. Thanks, girls. You saved my life on this video. Now we're going down to the lips. I have two products here. These are both matte liquid lipsticks. One is a dark green and one is a dark blue, which are very unusual colours. I wouldn't ever, you know, usually go for that. But, it's fine, more colours to add to my collection other than the red, 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 kinda nude, red colours, orange, purple, I've got. I honestly thought this one was black on the picture, that's, that's why I was like excited for it, but it turns out it's not black, it's blue. But that's okay, I don't mind, it's all new things in it. Tried the green and it's not it's got no staying power whatsoever. It looks great, it's very pigmented, it doesn't come off easily, but when I was eating my chicken balls, insert picture here, it came off onto my chicken balls and my chicken balls were green. Like, my food were green from me eating it, but it's all right, like, it's, I don't know, it's got no staying power whatsoever. And it stained me. Like, when I went to wash my face that night, I couldn't, I had to proper scrub my lips to get the green off. It was just terrible. So now I'm gonna make that same commitment again today. These lipsticks are £7.95 each. A uh, bit expensive for these colours, in my opinion. Like, these colours aren't colours that people are gonna go out buy wear every day. So I don't see how you can justify pricing them that high, but you know, Snip and Fab business. I'm not gonna tell them how to run the self. I bought them, didn't I? Well, I bought them in a box and I got a really good deal, so. I don't really know where to go with this. <laughs> but I am gonna try this blue on, on camera for you right now. Oh, I actually think this is purple. I can't really tell. I'll have to open it. Oh no, it's definitely blue. Look at that. It's definitely blue. Okay, so the application felt very, ooh, chalky. Like, this, my lips are the chalkboard and this is the chalk. I've never had that problem before unless I was just about to run out with lip, of lipstick, but honestly, this lipstick is a mood. Like, look at how nice it is. Mm, I love that, like, it's not out there blue. It's a very subtle blue. Something you'd wear if you wanted to wear black lipstick, which sometimes you do want to wear black lipstick, that's not a crime, and it's not a crime to wear blue, it's not a crime to wear green, you could wear purple, well purple lip, you could wear orange, orange, you could wear uh, cobalt blue, wait, you could wear bloody bright pink, wait, people wear bright pink lipstick, Amber, what are you talking about, you, okay, the, the point is, is you can wear whatever lipstick you want, okay, it's your choice, but personally, I'd wear this as if I was making a blue look to a black lip, and I just want to tie in my lips, Actually, on camera, these look really nice. They look like a nice velvety blue. Mmm. Ooh, yes! Queen! It's a queen! It's the whole queen! And they are already dry. Yeah. Yeah. See, I'm not gonna do it too much because I know they transfer, like, boom. <gasps> They've dried so different to what they look like when I put them on! <gasps> oh my god, this is actually a really, really nice colour. <gasps> I love it. I love this colour. Oh my, this colour is so worth the money. I'm not really sure on that green. This blue. 
You look, just look when you put it on. It looks black. But then when it dries, it dries like a nice royal blue. For the artistry, I'm going to be trying this eyeshadow palette. I want to tell you that this eyeshadow palette is on their site right now for £12.95. £12.95 for these boring ass colours. I do not think so, honey. Like, that is not happening. Not today. Not tomorrow. Probably not the next day. Like, probably never. It's never gonna happen. I am actually gonna try a few colours. I'm gonna try and mix it in with these lips here. So, I'm probably gonna use this blue here. This blue here. This blue here. And that blue there. For today, I'm gonna be using the Revolution Conceal and Hydrate as... A base for my eyeshadow. I've already put it down so you don't have to worry about me putting that on because I've already done it. Okay so the pigment is nothing to complain about. Shut up! I'm just gonna cut the crease with the exact same stuff. That yeah, I'm gonna take this colour right here because I've already taken this colour, but these colours look pretty similar. That one's slightly darker, but I've already used this one, so I'm gonna use this one. Okay, so. This is a pigmented colour still. Just take that dark blue again and make sure all this is mixing together nice and beautifully. So I'm going to do the rest of my makeup and then I'm going to come back for the final product. So I'll see you guys in a moment. So the last thing I want to review in this box is this cool little multitasking fix mist. I think this is great. It's the first ever like fixing spray that I've ever had that has like them golden bits in it. I don't know if you can see them, but they're kind of like those um, bottles of vodka with uh, glitter in them that do those sw swirly, swirly patterns. I like this product, but the retailer's recommended price on the website is £15, and honestly, I would not go out and pay £15 for something like this. So I'm not really sure about that, but it does leave a beautiful like glow on the skin. I wore it the other day when I didn't wear much makeup, and honestly, I was on like video chat with my family and all that. I just couldn't stop looking at myself, and all my family thought I was vain, but it's your girl. I'm actually gonna put this on and complete my look with it. So. Now that we've done with the fixing spray, that is actually everything in this box. So, what do you think about this box? I think I really like it. It's worth the money because I would have gone out and spent money on those face masks that they do. And if it's £7.50 each, that's got four, that's £30, then plus the bloody bronzer stuff, that's already 48 quid. So, it's like... It's not like I got a bad deal, really. There's only like two things, three things that I won't use in this box, which was the eyebrow pencil, the eyeshadow palette. Probably won't use that again, even though it did an okay job. I already have these colours, I don't need them again, I'll probably give it to one of my friends. And then the highlight palette, I might keep one pan out of it, but pretty much all the pans are the same. I use a different highlight colour for the insides of my eyes, and honestly, just isn't like whoa to me, so I don't really care about it. If you enjoyed this video, please don't forget to like, subscribe, and comment, share with your friends, I don't mind. And if you'd like to follow me on Instagram, my Instagram name is amberj.hunter. And I'm pretty sure that that's everything. I think I'll see you guys later. And if anybody got to the end, please let me know any camera recommendations you have because I want a new camera for my YouTube. I'm sick of doing it on my phone. So I'll see you guys later. Bye.